This is Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com, another educational video recording this on April 27th, 2021. We're going to be taking a look at the cryptos and take a look here, quick snapshot of where they are trading, the main ones that I follow and most traders follow, BTC, LTC, and ETH. And it is right there. In fact, ETH is trading close to its all-time highs, I believe close to about 26, 27, 100. All right. In this video, I just want to discuss something that has been very noticeable. And it is this trend where we've seen the crypto related stocks in relationship to the cryptos. So let me repeat that. The crypto related stocks and the cryptos themselves. So in late 2020 into early 2021, as Bitcoin was moving to all time highs, now note that bitcoin made its high in early april at about 65k and we'll see here that ethereum today actually is pushing to fresh all-time high so we can say making highs as of late april 2021 and we can see litecoin recorded its highs recently early april 2021 so we can see that since late 2020 we've still seen this continued push by the cryptos themselves but take a look at the stocks that were moving in step with the cryptos in other words the following stocks are crypto related stocks now notice here a nice trend as of late 2020 into sometime in february now notice where they picked in february and since then we've seen a pullback in this sector that is crypto related. In fact, they made their highs in February. All right, here's another instrument, another stock, RIOT. Again, a nice move in late 2020 into about February. Again, we can see the high coming in February. And since that February high, we see this push lower as the cryptos themselves are moving higher. Take a look at another name here, which again had a nice push as of late 2020 into early 2021 and the high coming again in February. Since then, we are off the highs. Let's take a look at another. So here we see a nice push as of late 2020. And actually the high here for this instrument, this stock comes in January. In fact, the first week of January. Since then, we can say it's off the highs and we can see that there was a breakout attempt here in February that failed. So we are seeing failures in the stocks. They made their highs many months ago. And let's take a look at one more. Here's another late moving instrument. This one, in fact, started moving in February. So we captured this breakout here. I've made a video about this. We took advantage of the breakout and he had a very strong push moving from about six to the highs here of 38 in about a couple of weeks. So since then, and the high on this instrument comes in March. Now you can see the theme here. The stocks are off their highs. While we can see, for example, Ethereum is recording fresh all time highs as of today so let me just verify this we can see as of today ethereum did record a fresh all-time intraday high so this divergence between the cryptos themselves making all-time highs or close to all-time highs in relationship to the stocks that were tracking the cryptos the stocks are way off their highs so this divergence is gonna have to resolve either the stocks are going to start rebounding powerfully to eventually synchronize with the cryptos or, or the cryptos are going to have to see a substantial, and I mean substantial, substantial sell-off so they can sync themselves back with the stocks. And all, one of the things I wanted to mention here is that it makes sense to watch the entire trading environment, not just the cryptos, because there's a lot of interweaving between all of these instruments from stocks generally 
to crypto stocks to cryptos themselves. All of these markets are somehow intricately connected and paying attention to only one of them could be a mistake because the other sectors of the trading world could be signaling clear signals for you to take advantage of. Now, one thing to say here is if we take a look at the monthly chart, for example, for Ethereum, we can see that the RSI, as I've been saying, continues to hold about that magic number of 69.1. So the momentum here still continues to be very strong. And the same is for Bitcoin and Litecoin. Their monthly RSIs are above 69.1. As we can see here with LTC, RSI above 69.1. But we can also see that it's really come off its highs. This is a significant pullback. It needs to hold above 69.1. Otherwise, movement below 69.1 could really start seeing the pressure changing to the downside. And of course, the big bell weather instrument, which is BTC, we can see here is still holding above 69.1 on its monthly. And that's the key takeaway, the monthly RSI level whether it's above 69.1 or below. Now, if you're looking for cracks, one of the things to watch is the daily. We can see here there's a line connecting the previous lows as discussed in many prior videos. What Bitcoin needs to do is recapture this line and trade above it for there to be a strong recovery. Otherwise, on day-to-day -day basis, if this turns into resistance, I would anticipate that this is where we start seeing a rejection of prices around here which also happens to coincide with coming back to test the underside of the 50-day moving average. It's another way of saying that if Bitcoin is to recover and trade above current levels, it needs to move back above the 50-day moving average. Otherwise, this area around the 50-day moving average could become resistance and the direction could start changing to the downside. And again, this is the one, one year, about 13 13 months or so capturing the lows here for btc which has seen a move believe it or not from 5k to 65k is it due for a correction <laughs> well you tell me on the four hourly for bitcoin if you're looking for cracks again we can see something similar to what the daily is saying is recently we saw btc pull back off its highs there was a break here of the rsi corresponding with this down bar again this is the four hourly each bar here represents four hourly data and we've come recently over the last day in fact today and we seem to be struggling so it's another way of saying that in the short term this could be where we start seeing a pullback in the cryptos day to day hour to hour or btc can muscle up and clear this small time frame challenge which brings us to ethereum Ethereum is the one making all-time highs. And again, as I've recorded in a recent three-part series, we can see yet, yet another push to all-time intraday highs. But notice your RSI is making a lower high. Notice that your RSI seems to be playing around that 61.8 level. Remember, this is the strongest type of negative divergence as per my own research. And... To add some color, we can see that this is also where it has been struggling. So we can see that there's a lot of data here. Resistance here, shallow pullback. Resistance here, shallow pullback. Resistance here over the last couple of hours today, coming off the highs there. So this could be the setup that finally takes down this very strong push by ethereum we shall see what ethereum needs to do is clear this area here move its four hourly above this range so it can advance beyond current levels otherwise what this is suggesting is clearly there's some resistance here has been some resistance on the rsi and that the more this resistance stays the more it holds the more it is unable to move above the 61.84 hourly threshold chances are we are gradually if eventually not gonna get into a substantial smackdown of course taking things lower now let's keep in mind 
the backdrop. Over the last year, we've seen a move to from 5K to 65K. The question is, do you think it is due for a rest? Remember, generally speaking, after a long journey, an instrument needs to rest. Ying yang baby, push pull. Warm cold, high low, love fear, positive and negative, all things seeking a balance. This is Eric Moat with Mother.com. Love light, like love. Namaste.